Hello everyone, I am Hang. In this video, I will talk about the work and energy. So what do we have for this uh, topic? Uh, there are many of them, six. In this video, I will talk about three things. Uh, work, how to calculate the work and the kinetic energy and the relationship between work and kinetic energy. Then after that, when we have a work and time to get that work, we, have, we can calculate the power. Uh, and I will give you, uh, if we have time, I will give you some definition about conservative forces and non-conservative forces. Let's start with the first one. Let's talk about the work and kinetic energy. Suppose that we have this situation, we have an object, and the work done by a constant force is F on the object when it moves a straight distance S is defined by this formula. This is definition. So where theta is the angle between the force and the distance, uh, where the uh, S is because S is a straight line and force is a constant. So theta is a constant. In case distance is a, a curve and the force is change, changes along the distance. So in this case, we calculate the work by this way. We will divide this path in many sp small pieces. We call that one is ds. And then we calculate the work based on this formula. Just only in this case, we don't consider whole the path. We consider just a piece. We call it ds because ds is very small. Therefore, the force on it is constant because it does it doesn't has it doesn't have enough time to change. And the second one, because ds is very small, therefore we can consider it is a straight distance. In this case, we apply the, uh, uh, this formula to calculate the work. So F, now we write it uh, based on the second law of Newton. So here, F we write equal MA. Uh, in another words, A is acceleration. And we calculate the acceleration based on the velocity by this way. A equal dV over dt. And ds, I rewrite it here. So here we see if ds divided by dt, so we have a, a instantaneous velocity. And dv here, we rewrite it here. So this one is the formula to calculate uh, the work in uh, a small, uh, along a small distance ds. If we want to calculate the work from um, position 1 to position 2, so we have to do the integration, both sides of this equation like this. So when we do the integration, we calculate the integration, we have this formula for and this formula. As we remember that, kinetic energy equal 1 over 2 mv square. And this one actually is the same formula like kinetic energy. So we can see the relationship between the work and the kinetic energy by this way. Uh, the change of kinetic energy equal the work on that path. So in this slide, uh, you should focus on um, three main three main points like this. The first one, the formula to calculate the work when fox and this fox is a constant and distance is a straight distance. Next, when fox uh, changes during the path. And the distance uh, actually it is a, a curve. So in this case, you apply this formula. And then mm, we have formula for kinetic energy like this. And the relationship between work and the change of kinetic energy is like this. Now we move to the next. Uh, this one I want to summarize about or the first light like this 
So we have a velocity, we can calculate the kinetic energy by this formula. We have a force, so you, we can calculate the uh, work by this formula. And the relationship between kinetic energy and work, like this. And now we move to the power. The definition of power is the work done divided by the time that you need to have uh, the work. So this one is the formula for the power. So usually, usually you get A divided by T. But in case you want to calculate um, um, uh, the change of very, very small work uh, with respect to a very small time, so you rewrite the formula like this way. So you have uh, the formula for the work at the instantaneous velocity like this. So this one is the power at the instantaneous velocity v. And this formula, in general, when a, uh, uh, work A is a constant, and the time to have a work A is, uh, is given, so you get the work divided by the time. In case you want to calculate the power at this velocity, so you can calculate by this way. So, uh, because you calculate the power based on the work, therefore you have a, a relationship between the work and the power by this way. So, you, if you want to calculate the power, you get the. Uh, if you want to calculate the work, you get the power time to the time here. Here. So the work you can define by W or A, whatever. And here is the relationship between the work and the kinetic energy. So here, if you have a relationship between the work and the power, uh, and you also have the relationship between the work and the change of kinet kinetic energy, so you have this formula, the work, power, and time, and kinetic energy like this. So we keep continuing with the, the one we have up to now. When you have a work, you can calculate the power by this way. So here you get the uh, uh, work divided by the time you have that work. If you want to calculate the power at this instantaneous velocity, so you can calculate by this way. Next, uh, I will give you some definition about the conservative forces and non-conservative forces. So definition like this. A fox is conservative if the work done by the fox is independent on the path. It just depends on the initial position and the final position. For example, we have some kind of fox like that. Gravity, gravitational forces or spring forces are conservative forces, while kinetic friction is not. So you uh, take a look on the formula to calculate the gravitational forces, you see, it just depends on the, um, the, 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 the um, how do we call it, the distance, and the spring force is the same. Therefore, when you calculate the work, so you just focus on the initial and final position. This one I will talk about it later, when we consider the second point, work by gravitation, gravitational forces so uh, i will stop the video here see you in the next video thank you